If you like our videos, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. That this little chunky boy, well, this went. Oh, 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 what a little fucking beautiful. Thank you, buddy. All right, hello, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the channel. If this is your first time here, and if you do enjoy. Oh, excuse me for the burp halfway into that. Jesus. <laughs> if you do enjoy, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you're back from pack, welcome back to you. Jamie and I very much appreciate your continued support. We have Echo Episode 3 today. Um, titled Duklo. Uh, 44 minutes. A little bit longer than the last one. Um, yeah, not too, too much happened in the last episode. It was mostly slow burn stuff and Maya putting the bomb on the train and discovering that she has ancestral powers. Uh, and her and busting her leg. All that in one sequence. <laughs> and, and like a good like 10 minute frame there but everything else was just kind of eh it was all right uh i will say for one thing though i don't see why this is tvma like when you compare it to say like daredevil like dude The tone in Daredevil versus the tone in this, very different. Very, very different. This does not feel TVMA. This feels still like goofy, jokey. Uh, maybe not as goofy and jokey because, you know, it is dealing with a bit more of like crime stuff and, and like more gray morals and stuff like that. But even still, the first image of this show was like, super powered native americans who are ancestors of echo who then bestow upon her powers as as such a being you know or her ancestors like they couldn't just stick to having a grounded character but uh oh well it is what it is uh maybe like the the only thing is it seems to only trigger when they're like under extreme stress. They don't really have like the powers constantly, it seems maybe. So maybe there's that. Unless she's gonna be the Mary Sue that manages to figure out how to like harness the powers immediately or whatever. We'll see. Uh but anyways. I'm very curious to see where this goes, where this escalates to. Um, hopefully this picks up a bit, because, uh, there's only five episodes, and you're really not, <laughs> you, you really haven't, like, hooked me in, and, we're, like, we're pretty much halfway through the series already, so, fingers crossed, three, two, one, let us, <laughs> what the fuck, what, oh my god, like an old timey movie! Yes! Oh, that's amazing! The Light Horseman. Dude, they even kept the aspect ratio and everything. Wow. No, you do. No. Stop. Stop. No, you're not doing this soundless, too. They're really doing this, eh? Crack! <laughs> Fucking damn it, dude. Oh. Wow. Women are life givers, men are life takers. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness, man, this is ridiculous. <laughs> it's a trap. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Just randomly found one of the pools. Which does actually look a lot like the ones from, uh... Cordy's episode. Oh, interesting. So they don't have dialogue, but they have the gunfire. And they didn't have bangs. But they had the gunfire. And the war cries. Interesting. That's not... Standing on top of a ridge line like that and firing a gun would not go that way. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Oh, oh, oh she, uh, she's going to have some words for her husband who's been helping uh, Maya. <laughs> oh, my lord. Well, I'll talk to you too, Chola. Why don't we uh, go into my office? <laughs> oh, my lord. Cut the crap. I didn't come here to get laid up by some old rest dog like you. God, you used to melt like butter Jeez, when I talked this, to this you. Christ. Now it's long. Oh, now. lord. My husband. Yeah. Thought that might have something to do with it. <laughs> oh, no. uh, oh, that's 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 yeah. That's... Go sit over there. That old chair hurts my back. You know. Oh. <laughs> She's too much like her father. You don't know that. You don't even know her. And you do? You haven't seen her any more than I have in the last twenty years. Mm. Oh, really? That's not entirely true. <laughs> not for me to say. Why don't you ask her? You know, you two are exactly alike. We are not alike. But Everything I've done has been to protect my family, however much it hurt. Why don't you just swallow your pride before you lose your granddaughter, too? Oh, damn. Yeah, good. Tonight, have a ready wait for my call. Mmm. The Kingpin's goons know it was her. They're heading down here to teach her a lesson. Oh, well, that's freaky. What the fuck? Oh, good. <laughs> her little fucking visions caused her to get kidnapped. What a great power. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, you're uber fucked now. Oh, well. Helps that you had a faulty foot so you could slip out of there. Uh, those are goons? These three dummies captured her. Okay. Oh, is this her cousin? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's Bonnie. That's not good. Shut up, shut up. Of course she found a way in, too. Oh, lovely. That's not good. Hey. Hey, I tried the furnace. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, and he works Pretty there, busy. so. Pretty busy. They can cover, right. Well, I won't take very long, privately. How about you call me tomorrow? The rank's being, um, audited by the IRS. Oh, and she's I'm with paramedics, so she knows when she she sees someone that's jumpy. Yikes, the IRS. Oh. Is there anything I can do? And they know sign language. Mm -hmm. They know sign language. They can communicate in a way that they can't. I all that mileage on all those pairs of skates. You know she was coming around? Uh-uh. More people coming around here? Go. Uh-oh, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's something that can accidentally get you shot. Oh, is she gonna radio the shit in? Dispatch? Well, well. Yeah, one of them was missing. Yeah, I did, did, did see that. So that makes sense. 
get in here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, that's funny. Literally forced into the same room as her. <laughs> Are you fuck? Of course, her fucking. That's right. Oh, that's clever. Okay, that's that's a clever move using the. Oh wow! Damn. Oh, 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 oh. Damn! That is fucking harsh. Oof. Well, yeah, she was grieving. In her own way. What did you do? No. Maya brought this on herself coming home. All I did was accelerate the process. You called someone. <laughs> yeah, yep. well, here's the thing, Henry. I ain't taking orders no more. Not from you. You really think he's gonna pay you and then just let you walk out of here? Bingo! There's no way Kingpin just does that. If I was you, Henry. He kills all of his patsies. Collect that oh. Well, that's not good. Her zip ties told you I heard something. <laughs> whoa, whoa, don't shoot her. If she's dead when they get you, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she can. Oh. Alrighty then. Oh, punched Bonnie out of there. Interesting. I think we gotta go back in there and hot tire. It's not worth the trouble. They're here. I'm here, don't make me regret. Oh shit. Okay. Throw her back in there too. No. She's coming with us. Oh no. You left this fucking oh, you left her to guard it? That's so unwise. She doesn't look like she knows what to do with a goddamn gun. You're the guy then. Yeah, I'm the guy. Vicky. Vicky. Nice to see your face at last, I guess. <laughs> he tried to act like a badass, but uh, this guy couldn't give less of a shit. I don't like being played with, Vicky. Guaranteed, it's the real deal. Assuming you brought that money. Oh, no. We got protocols, right? Oh boy. I uh, keep some money safe while I assess the situation. Work, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> this guy is like eating it up. This well, is his fucking bastard. performance. You can look us up, right, Brad? Find out, boys. He's here somewhere. Now, I was thinking you'd show me that money first and make sure it's all there. Like, I need to know that you have it. Oh my god. You're not in a bargaining position here, dude. Is she making a makeshift fucking crossbow? What the fuck? She made a makeshift gun with a laser sight. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh oh. Oh! Oh! Pelt with ball bearings. Damn. Can you let me handle this? Grace. Looks like you're letting this guy handle it. Uh-oh. Is that Henry Black Crow Lopez? He's supposed to see me. Look at you all tied up. Let me talk. Oh, he's he's just like taunting oh, around right now. up like this by Lopez. Lopez, he blew up the armory. We're actually not at liberty to say until we get our money. Hmm. I'm so tired. He's gonna fucking shoot happened. this guy, dude. Like so, Maya. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna go check on something. Yeah. We still got a deal. So, how about let's all go out and you show me that money? To catch up, brothers? 
They know Take shit's on. Go out. Take him out. Take him out. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, man. Yep. Thanks again, Vicky, for the odd tip. Nice. It would be nice if she were, you know, here. Good job, man. I got who I want here. You're the one who's gonna give me the answers to my question. Where is Maya Lopez? Dragula! <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh! Good call, blasting the music. Yeah, just like with in Hawkeye, she's blasting the music, changing the lights and shit because it doesn't affect her. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking punched him in the face for laughing. Oh my god. This is, I will give. I will give this show this. The soundtrack's been pretty fucking fire so far. Oh shit! Blast through the wall. Nice. But that's not really good because she's right in front of. Well, that was interesting. It keeps like flashing to her ancestor. Oh, jeez, dude. Okay, that fucking foot knife is uh, really coming in handy. Fucking <laughs> suplex disaster. Jesus. Okay. Oh! Some, some, uh, okay, some interesting shots here. Are <sighs> you fucking serious right now, dude? What the fuck? Wow, okay. Oh! Hide it back to the ancestor again. Oh, taking the jacket off. Whoa. Oh, well. Got the most important one to her. Video game losing sounds. God fucking damn it. Oh, he's got like this oh shit look on his face because that must be the ringtone of Kingpin. And they don't know that he's actually alive yet. I understand it. I'm sorry, I... Let me just... Dude, the fucking panic and fear in his voice. Let's go! Yeah, he's sweating bullets. He's like shitting himself. He's like... I... I'm sorry, he's alive? And he's mad at us. He's probably shitting his pants right now. Oh yeah, she's like giving him shit for punching her. Wait for the police. Yeah, nope. That's not her style. Yeah, yeah. What's it? What, will she actually fucking promise to do that? Will she actually do it? Maybe. Which part? The part where we were kidnapped by the guy who cleans my skates. <laughs> the part where we yep. accurate die. That is very true. There's only one person who could have. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Tonight. Thanks. Caught up to his boat. <laughs> you know shit. The offer still stands. I'm helping you. <laughs> Gets kidnapped by his guy who played his fucking skate. He's like, yeah, no, this is too much disrespect. I gotta, I gotta stand up for myself a bit here. Nice touch to add some, some music from the culture too. As she loads a fucking handgun. Uh Oh yo, does he does he have her fucking leg? <laughs> you uh, live in New York. You represent your people. Hmm. 
That means he did put a lot of work into that. Uh, Chaka Tushka is on the scene. I could uh, paint it matte black. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like I like I like their relationship. I like their their dynamic. I guess that is supposed to be for a leg then. Oh, oh no, that's oh. Well, you know okay, it. never mind. I that's the leg. Don't, grandmother, and I, not together. No more. But ah, uh, uh, you uh, won't. That's a shame. Go see her. Her heart was broken when you left. She left uh, this place uh, like it was. Aw. Like a museum. Nice. Looks pretty clean. Looks like a stronger leg, too. Much thicker material. Ah, of course. Doesn't go say goodbye to her friend. Has, has a pretty clean looking leg. Oh god, she is so like not pleased. Oh, that's a cool new outfit. <laughs> it's Bigfoot. <laughs> Man is gonna have some words for her. Hello, Maya. <laughs> That just stare into her soul. Okay, okay, okay. That episode was interesting. It was definitely it definitely had a lot more oomph to it than uh than the first two. The first one was pretty much carried by the Daredevil scene, and the Daredevil scene was pretty much uploaded on YouTube in its entirety before the show even aired. So I kind of spoiled all that and took out most of the gas from that. Episode 2 was a slow burner, and not to mention all the Hawkeye footage in Episode 1. Um, and you have Episode... Th this, this one, Episode 3, which definitely feels more like it was Episode... Like, it's, it's really funny. Like, it almost feels like this kind of had elements of an episode two. Like, things are escalating. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It just, it just feels a lot more impactful than the past two have and feels a lot more engaging having the intro bit with, again, another one of her ancestors and having that, like, silent film thing was cool and all. But I'm not really understanding the whole reasoning behind it. Is it simply just because they want to explore the Native American, like, heritage and, and culture and everything? And it's sort of focused around ancestors and what past generations pass on to the present generation kind of thing is what I'm getting sort of the vibe off of is what those are trying to like compel towards because it seems to me that like Ever since the first Choctaw, there, in in every sort of era, there's one of their tribe who inherits the the gifts directly from the first Choctaw, which is why they have the superpowers and why you have like these various characters that were being highlighted on each episode. Um. Which is cool, 
but I don't think they play much into the further narrative things outside of being direct ancestors of Maya. Like, I, I, I think that would be the case, because I don't see them, like... I don't see them doing a thing like, ah, and in the end, Maya goes to fight Kingpin with the spirits of her ancestors brought to light. Like, that's just so cringe and so disrespectful to the, to the culture and everything. Like, just no. Just no. Absolutely not. No. Um, I don't see them doing that. But do I see her, like, channeling her ancestors' powers to, like, do something or something like that? Yeah, sure. Sure, maybe. Um... <sighs> But otherwise, I think they're just there to touch upon the various eras of the Choctaw tribe and where it was in history and to imply that there was a superpowered individual among them during those periods who are directly related to Maya's and like uh family in present day. Uh And then you have the present day stuff moving on past from that uh, little flashback thing. Uh, very quickly into the episode, you had Maya get captured by the Three Stooges. Like, they got very lucky that she got blinded by that vision there. Otherwise, they they would have had a much harder time, like, chloroforming her and everything, I, th I would think. Uh, and then she gets brought to the skate rink. Her extended family's there. They get broped into it. You had... A pr like a good callback to Hawkeye with the, uh, the the blaring music and using that to like disorient your opponents kind of thing. That was a nice touch. Um, and then you had the fucking Dragula fight, uh, which was. Pretty good. Uh, some some of the choreography was pretty good. There was a lot of weird cuts, though. There were a lot of weird, like, chops they did and 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 things like that. It just like it looked a bit odd, but uh, in 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 a lot of areas it looked pretty good. There was a lot of CGI blood in in this episode. I noticed, like, like when when the guy gets shot, the guy that uh, turns in Maya. He gets shot in the back initially, and he falls over the, uh, the thing, and he coughs up the blood. You see the blood, which is coughed up, is very clearly CGI, but then the blood that comes onto his face, like, it looks like it's actual, like, fake blood, like makeup blood. So it's a little weird. Like, why they would do it as, um, as CG. Because it looks very odd. And the combination's very jarring, because you can tell when one is CG and one's not. It's very, yeah, it's very weird. Very, very weird. Not exactly sure what the thought process behind that was. There's even a little bit of CGI blood in the actual fight, too. With, uh, the Kingpin's goons. Yeah, very, very curious. I will say, though, again, like, nothing super crazy to write home about. Like, uh, that's the thing. Is that this show, I can I can kind of understand why it would be, like, mixed reviews and everything, because it's not, like, super... Like, super immediately engaging. It's not super... It's not as much of a draw as some of the other Marvel shows. It's try it's 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 doing the best with what it's got, but like 
it's just something that's just not reaching it. Even when the guy gets shot and you have the blood and everything, and oh, it looks, it's still like, yeah, I guess this is like kind of bordering TVMA, but like. I don't know. Something about it just doesn't really click and say, hey, that reminds me of Daredevil or Jessica Jones or Iron Fist or Punisher or like any of the TVMA Netflix shows. Like, just none of it really goes that far, which I think is why. Compare, for if if you will, compare the first three episodes of Echo, Daredevil, and Jessica Jones. I know both the Netflix series went for like a, a bunch more episodes, but bear with me. In the first three episodes of Daredevil, you had... Very bloody fights, very bloody fights, very well shot one take fights with the hallway scenes and everything that they they love to do um and the brutality of it very like tangible very very like you can feel it, none of it really takes you out of it because it looks grungy and real. And then you also had things in, I'm pretty sure it was in the first three episodes, where you had, like, Kingpin losing his temper and doing unspeakable acts to, to individuals. They even advertised it in the trailer for, for the Echo show with the, with the Daredevil reveal that I reacted to, of Kingpin slamming the dude's head with the car door until it's a bloody pulp. Then you take Jessica Jones. Within the first 15 minutes, not even, within the first five, five minutes. Nay, nay, I say, within the first two minutes of the show, you have Jessica Jones beeping on a cheating husband who is having sex in the back of a woman's car. And taking photos of it because she's a private eye. And then when she tells the dude she doesn't like it, and he straight up fucking hucks her out of her office and then just goes and drinks. And she's an alcoholic. Even like arguably almost as bad, if not worse, of an alcoholic than Tony Stark is in the MCU. Like It, it just does not compare, my dude. Even Luke Cage, and actually, I wouldn't even say Iron Fist. Iron Fist was probably the closest to being like MCU because it didn't really do anything too crazy. But Luke Cage even had TVMA stuff with like the the the, the gang wars and like actually getting into like the the Harlem situations and and everything like that, like. It's very different. It's very different because it just it just does not feel the same for some reason. There's something that's just like not connecting the two, and I, I just can't place it. But overall, not bad fights. Like I I like I like some of the things like the the fucking bladed. Shoe knife on the on the prosthetic was was fun. Swinging that around, cutting people up with that. Uh, the, the suplex that she did was pretty good. Um, uh, the the like the 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 arcade gun like whip <laughs> attacks that was pretty that was pretty good. That was pretty awesome. Uh, and then you had. Uh, Yep, Kingpin show up at the end and make his appearance, and he's probably gonna have a real good talk with Maya and be like, "Shot me in the eye. I am outraged." 
<laughs> I'm not pleased. I tried to be nice. Yes, I killed your father. Or I kind of had him indirectly killed. But I still love you. <laughs> like, uh, next episode's gonna be fun. I can already tell. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think that's everything from me. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Until next episode, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoy. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Adios. Until the next episode.